The Dolphin is a compact electric family car that's been causing quite a stir in the automotive world. The vehicle, which is priced under £30,000, marks the most compact offering from the world's second largest battery manufacturer. The Dolphin is designed to sit beneath the Atto 3 in the lineup and is expected to reach British customers by late summer. Built on BYD's ePlatform 3.0, the same modular architecture used by both the Atto 3 and the larger seal, the Dolphin is front-wheel drive. It measures around 4.3 meters in length, making it longer than superminis like the Fiesta and Corsa, but shorter than a Golf or Astra. The bespoke EV underpinnings mean short overhangs and a longer wheelbase than both full-size family hatchbacks, hinting at a spacious interior. This compact hatchback comes with a 60 kilowatt hour battery to start with, delivering a claimed WLTP range of 265 miles. A smaller battery of 45 kilowatt hour is expected to follow later. It has a single-spec motor with 200 horsepower and 290 newton-meters of torque, allowing for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 7 seconds. The maximum recharge rate is 88 kilowatts, which can take the battery from 30 to 80 percent of capacity in 29 minutes. Three-phase 11 kilowatt AC charging and a heat pump come as standard. Initial tests on a Spanish race circuit showed the car's potential for practicality, decent motor refinement, and respectable performance. The Dolphin's throttle modulation is well judged, the steering is light but precise, and the car displays decent stability and body control. However, the steering could use a slightly lower ratio for twistier urban routes. While the front-mounted motor can produce some whine with a heavy throttle, this noise is drowned out as speed increases, primarily by tyre roar and a bit of wind rush from the side mirrors. The brand of tyres fitted to the UK Dolphins could significantly impact the vehicle's motorway cruising credentials on poorer British roads. Inside, the Dolphins' front cabin is dominated by a 12.8-inch infotainment system, similar to the Atto 3. The cabin design is more conventional compared to the Atto 3, aligning more closely with rivals like the Vauxhall Corsa E and MG4. The driving position is comfortable with a good range of movement on the electrically adjusted seats, which will be standard on every Dolphin. Tech-wise, the Dolphin does not disappoint. A 12.6-inch touchscreen can be swiveled to portrait or landscape modes to better suit your needs. The vehicle also boasts impressive passenger space, with a six-footer able to sit behind a similarly tall driver in relative comfort. It also offers a decent-sized 345-liter boot with a variable height floor that can section off some useful cable storage. On the whole, the Dolphin promises to be better equipped as standard than most rivals, and its touchscreen is easier to use than many alternative systems. While the driving experience is described as whelming, neither special nor terrible, its impressive passenger space and other features make it a compelling proposition. Additional factors, such as BYD's ability to deliver a car within a few weeks of ordering, will likely sway many potential buyers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more car reviews and updates. See you in the next video.